Welcome to Game Shark. Now, I'm hoping I can do a real quick introduction to this channel and this video series you're about to start. So, this channel is meant to be a variety gaming channel, but because I am new to content creation and streaming, at least for a bit of, little bit, I'm going to focus on one game, and that game is Final Fantasy XIV. Now, I'm a long-time Final Fantasy XIV player. I dipped my toes into 1.0 at its launch, and like most people, I did not stick around. Then when A Realm Reborn went into beta, I gave it a try, and by and large, I have stuck around ever since. Now, with that being said, I mean, that's eight plus years, and I've only ever had one character, which means I've only ever gone through the story once. And when Shadowbringers came out, which is an amazing expansion with an amazing story, what made that story so great was the fact that it pulled together threads that started as far back as A Realm Reborn and probably even to some degree 1.0. And while I'm playing through it, there's you know, names and events and stuff that I'm kind of like, I think I remember that. Um, so I'm wanting to play a, a New Game Plus playthrough to go back through it to get a um, a fresher uh, look at everything before Endwalker comes out. And I'm hoping, you know, going through it, obviously I'll Recon I'll see those names earlier on and stuff and hopefully see things, the, the, the seeds that were planted early on that like as a new player, I had no idea and hopefully it will blow my mind to go, oh my God, like something that, you know, culminated or uh, bloomed in Shadowbringers started all the way back and, you know, when I was like level 10 or something. Um and so I want to do this with the perspective of somebody that is completely caught up on the story. And with that being said, that means that this series is going to be full of spoilers. Um, not only, you know, if you're a new player and you're not caught up to where I am on the stream or in the YouTube videos you know, obviously you can get spoiled from that, but I also intend on discussing those connections and, and so forth. So, I mean, in the first cutscene, I may end up saying something that is related to something that happened in the last patch. So, unfortunately, this series is probably not going to be something you're going to want to watch if you're a new player uh, specifically if you care about spoilers. Now, on my stream, I intend on keeping the story stuff and the spoilers to the front part of the stream, and I want to open up the back part to doing more community-related stuff. So I am on the Crystal Data Center, and I'm hoping, you know, any people watching the stream or whatever can join me and we can maybe get together for mount farms, treasure maps, uh, achievement hunting, you know, just any kind of content that we can do as a community. And with that, um, I know I won't actively be talking about story spoilers and stuff like that. So that section of the stream is open to new players and, you know, hopefully we get some that maybe need help with something or whatever. Um, so if you are a new player and you don't want to be spoiled, I would not keep watching this, but please check out my stream, which I will be streaming every Tuesday through Saturday, 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Time. You'll have to go on the internet or whatever to figure out the, you know, what that is in, in your time zone. But 
I'll be doing that again every Tuesday through Saturday, 3 p.m. to 9 p.m., at least 9 p.m. Central. Some days I'll probably go beyond that, but at least to 9 p.m. And the uh, YouTube channel, I intend on having something up every day, maybe even multiple things. So, um, of course, please, you know, subscribe if you enjoy this content. Jump onto my Twitch, follow me there, uh, you know, if you want to be a part of it live. But just know that, again, I'm going to have, try to have something up every day. So even if you don't hit that notification bell, just know there's going to be something waiting for you. So with all of that said, hopefully that didn't take too long. Let us restart this journey. Here, feel. I thought this stuff was voice acted. Hear, feel, think. And I assume that Asian is La Habrea. I don't. I was never good with like the masks and the the symbols. Oh, that's interesting. So it puts you into the paladin gear. Looks good as a paladin. Yeah, that's La Habrea. Oi. You all right, lass? You're you're moaning in your sleep and sweating buckets besides. Rolling of the ship got your stomach churning, has it? I'm also going to be reading, so I don't know how, how great this is going to be. I apologize in advance if it's terrible. Hmm. Don't don't seem like seasickness now, now that I look at you. It'll be the ether then, I reckon. Uh, some are more sensitive to the stuff than others, see? And we ain't too far from Vilbrin now, which is chock full of aetherites. No need to fret, though. You'll soon get used to it. Ugh. Might as well have been blooming seasickness. Ships leaping around like a demented chocobo today. I reckon I might head out on deck. Get myself a breath of fresh air. Limsa Lamenza is still a fair way off, in case you were wondering. Seeing as you're awake and all, how's about you keep me company till we get there? Them young'uns don't much care for conversation, see? Ah, uh, 
the Leviers. Any road, Brennan's the name, and Pedlin's me trade. so funny it's just you know obviously you start the game and i don't even recall what gear you start in i mean i mean obviously it's just whatever beginning it's probably the race gear but now to you know have my character just in like full badass gear <laughs> at the very beginning it's it's going to be interesting to see it um like that you know just character looking badass from the beginning Ah, smell that salty sea breeze? Now then, last, judging by your unusual garbs, <laughs> what do you know? Uh, I'd say you're one of them new ven uh, adventurers. Am I warm? I knew it. Going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory. Now that's what I call living. So long as you can avoid dying, I mean, ain't no secret that adventuring's a risky business these days, especially. Uh, what what was it that first attracted you to it? Why did you become an adventurer? To gain power, to win glory, to amass a fortune, and then just quiet. I mean, I'm not much of an RPer, but I still kind of try to think like the character, and it's like, I mean, neither one of those, just for the adventure of it, I guess, or to, you know, to help people. Um, it's fortune. Uh, probably just go with this. Okay, she shakes the head. Well, if you ain't inclined to tell, I ain't about to pry. Might be as old Brennan's a uh, chatterbox, but he sure as hell hell's ain't no busybody. Well, no, we all have a. A secret of three, don't we? Me? Dozens. And I'd rather they stayed secret, too. Which is why I don't go sticking me nose where it ain't welcome. Just remember, though, there are more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing, ain't no profit, and being dead. And that's a fact. Pulling into Limza. Oh no. Awa! <laughs> Getting attacked. I remember doing this in 1.0. Ships off the starboard bow. Pirate colors. Pirates. Bloody hells. Yeah, it was like a sea creature or something, I think, in 1.0. Or I'm just getting confused, and that's going to pop up here in a second. Have you no sense? Get below. What is the world coming to? Pirates firing on a ship, flying lemons in colors? Bastards either have a boatload of balls or a bugger all for brains. You can rest easy, friends. We made it out of cannon range, and no buccaneers barking will catch this flighty temptress once the wind's in her sails. I don't, like, to start in Lamenza is, like, the word. I mean, this is, like, tame compared to a lot of the sailor pirate speech that was too bleeding close glad one of us kept her head on her shoulders i reckon i'd have lost mine otherwise if them if them pirates gave up the chase we must be close to port 
let's head up on deck and have us a look, shall we? By the by, is this your first trip to Limsa Liminza? Uh, no. <laughs> so I'll just go, ab uh, you know, about it like it is. It is. Well then, let this journey journeyed itinerant uh, tell you the ins and outs of your destination. <clears throat> Limsa Liminza prides itself on being Eorzea's foremost naval power. It weren't too long ago that the place was ruled by pirates, but thanks to the current admiral's civilizing influence, the city-state could almost pass for a respectable nation. You never guessed she was once a rum-swilling buccaneer herself. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, of course, most folk ain't so quick to change, and with a town full of liberty-loving ruffians, you can imagine how many naysayers and troublemakers she's got to deal with, uh, like them pirates who take a fancy to us just now, who took a fancy to us just now. Uh, and if that weren't bad enough, I've heard the Sahagan are raiding the coast, just as bold as you please. Them are the sea-dwelling beastmen the locals call fishbacks, in case you didn't know. Ah, at long last. Land ho! Behold, Limza Liminza, a nation blessed by the ocean's bounty and beloved of Limlane, goddess of navigation. Okay, that's the end of that one. And on to three. On a windswept isle in the southwestern corner of the realm, amidst the roiling waves of the Rotano Sea, lies the maritime city-state of Limsa Lominsa. To this haven for bandits and brigands, cutthroats and curs, seekers of both freedom and fortune, comes a lone adventurer. Alone yet not alone, for the hero's arrival has drawn the gaze of the nation's patron deity, Lim Lane. Pronounced it right. What realm-shaking fate has she descried in the churning waters of this mortal's future? And here's where we part ways, lass. I'm off to the markets to deliver me wares. Then it's on to the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this by way of thanks for saving me arse earlier. Hey, you never did tell me your name, did you? Well, here's an idea. Become the sort of storied personage I can brag about having met, and I'll consider us square.
Through peril and hardship, discovery and triumph, may the navigator guide this brave soul on her life's voyage. Till sea swallows all. Yeah, buddy. Maelstrom number one. That's interesting because I think I remember the expansions, you know, having the name. Does this one actually do a Realm Reborn at any point or was that it? This is obviously a cutscene because there's not a bunch of people dancing around naked and playing instruments and... <laughs> hey, you there. I, I mean you. This is my district and I make it my business to know all the scum that washes up in it. How dare you call me scum? Ah, an adventurer fresh off the boat, is it? Well then. Allow, allow one of Limsa Laminza's finest to set you on the right path. Hop to it, lass. I haven't got all day. Yeah, and then that's something I, I looked into. Um, for whatever reason, like I couldn't find the cutscene where you're talking to that guy. So now it goes to uh, you talking to, uh, what is it, Batteron? Greetings to you, lass. What'll it be? Ah, but you ain't here for the drink, are you? You've come with a mind to try your and at venturing, I reckon. Well, you'll find no shortage of work here in Limsa. The name's Batteron, and this most hospitable of hostelries is the drowning wench. Tis also the ohm of the Ventures Guild here in Limsa. That's why we've got a desk specially for Anlin Guild business. Uh, and why I seem to spend more time saving the necks of whelps like yourself than wetting the throats of me regulars. Ventures have a knack for finding trouble, see? Not, not that they need it in these parts on account of there being trouble wherever you look. If we, if we manage to steer clear of the fishbacks and the kobolds outside the city, the pirates on the inside will, will get you instead. And if they don't, uh, and if they don't manage, there's always the Garlean Empire to finish the job. Oh, and no one knows what what they're planning, of course. But if they're planning anything, you can be sure it's to kill the lot of us. Uh, yeah. Aye, this town seems peaceful at, at a glance. But look again and you'll see a, a people living in fear of what tomorrow might bring. And who can blame them after everything that's happening happened? Uh, a... Eorzea took a mighty blow during the calamity, but our home homes weren't the only things what got wiped out wiped off the face of existence by the thrice damned bastard of a dragon. It took it took our bleeding memories too, and no one's been able to explain it in a way as makes an ounce an ounce of sense. Yeah, I forgot about people 
losing the memory of the uh well i guess maybe the whole event but i know the uh like warrior of warriors of light or whatever N none of the folks what say say it and live to tell the tale seem to agree on how the tale actually goes tis all foggy like recollections from a hard night on the ale you can imagine why people might fear for the future if they can't rightly recall the past. But there is one thing we all remember, and that's the group adventures what laid down their lives to, dra to drag Eorzea back from the brink when she was bound for the abyss. Well, I say we remember. Truth is, though, we ain't forgotten what they did for us. This uh, God's damn calamity spawn memory loss robbed us their names. Uh, it won't even let us picture their damn faces. Tis like staring at a gull flying, flying in front of the sun. All you see in your mind's eye is a shadow set against a blinding glare. And that's how every bugger describes it, by the way. Give or take the old gull. It's this what's got people calling these heroes the warriors of light. Okay. Yeah, see, I, I forgot about even that. I just assumed. I was going to say, I, I, I just assumed it was, you know, because we were, like, allied or whatever with Heidelin. But uh, I guess most of the people around, like, wouldn't know that. If Limbs is ever going to put this time of darkness behind us, it's going to need adventures to help banish the fear. It's going it's going to need new heroes like the ones we lost. Maybe one day you'll be one of them. And that's why any aid we can give give to an adventure is effort well spent. What say you, lass? You you willing to lend us your strength? nod <laughs> uh me me thanks yeah and to the navigator and all uh i i knew she she'd steered you my way for a reason reading is hard <laughs> ah but li listen to me uh yattering on like a sun-touched fishwife uh tis high time we got your mark in me book Put your scroll right there. Lavenza shark, is it? And a fine name it is. Congratulations. You're now an upstanding member of the Ventures Guild. You there, adventure. You sailed in on the last ferry, did you not? The captain reported being attacked by a pirate vessel, and several witnesses have testified independently that a passenger matching your description went out on deck mere moments before the incident took place. Send in your friend's signals, were you? Now hold on just a moment there, officer. You've got the wrong lass. This fine upstanding young lady is... Is me dear departed grandma's sister's niece's cousin's closest companion. The last couldn't be caught dead fraternized, fr fraternizing with such unsavory elements. Is that right? <clears throat> you are surely aware of the recent kidnappings. Uh, respectfully, then, we cannot be too trusting of outsiders at a time when the loyalty of even our closest friends is in doubt. Aye, you make a good point there, officer. A very good point. Very wise. You needn't worry, though. I keep one eye open at all times. Me, I, I, <laughs> I keep one eye open at all times, me, and two more often than that. Now, sir, what, what you see to, what you see to a tanker to me finest ale afore you return to your duties, eh? Not a watered-down cup of piss like last time, I should hope. Ain't got the faintest idea what you're on about, officer. The wench might offer some of the cheapest grog this side of the 
straight a rule Thor, but that don't mean it won't get you good and pickled. And look, there's a chair over there just crying out to be sat on. So kick off them heavy boots, eh? You'll have to excuse these eager, bloody yellow jackets. There's been a spat of kidnapping, see? And they ain't got a clue who's behind them. Naturally, they've taken to slapping irons on anyone who looks vaguely suspicious, which means ventures visitors, and pretty much every bugger else in this town. Don't take it personally, though. Us Lemonsons can be a, can be an, art, an edstrong bunch of bastards, tis true, but given time, we'll grow on you. Now where was I? Ah, aye, welcome to Limsa Lemonsa where the seas as, as green as the faces of me patrons after a few too many black belly whiskeys. Now take a moment to gather your wits, and we'll get started with learning, learning the other ways of the city. All right, and that's another part I know. It skips. Um, it would have been nice to have at least like the dialogue for it, but I understand it's like attuning to the Aetherite and stuff like that, which I guess they're no way of having you attuned to something you're already attuned to, I guess. So now I can actually start the new game plus. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. If you want to join me live, please jump over to my Twitch channel. Same name as this one, Game Shark, with a C, not like the fish. I'll be over there every Tuesday through Saturday, 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Time. Again, thank you for watching.